apples, apples, apples for sale. Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. Hey, mister. I presume it's mister. I can't see under your barrel. The name's Tim, Tim Tibbetts. And you are? Larry, <laughs> Larry Laffer. What's your question, Larry? Well, um, I see you're wearing a barrel and I figure this can only mean one thing. <laughs> You're going to go over Niagara Falls. Interesting. Furthermore, since Lost Wages is near the West Coast, and Niagara Falls is near the East Coast, and you're already in the barrel, you must be super wealthy. They'll never let you on a commercial airliner dressed that way. Your mind works in strange and mysterious ways, Larry. Actually, I'm broke. That's why I'm dressed this way. Wanna buy an apple? Let me think about it. It would be kind of cool to buy an apple from a really rich guy. Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Thank you, sir. Here you go. Um, um. Yeah, baby. Taxi. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hey, Mac, where you headed? Lucky 21, pal. Fork it over. Thanks, kid. Welcome to the come and go. Please keep your hands where I can see them. He's a clerk at a convenience store, and he has the scars to prove it. Something about this arcade game just rubs you the wrong way. Here's a tip. You can always tell a fine wine by the picture on the box. If it shows wet grapes, it's the good stuff. Hardy Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse, but it is a bouillon and syrupy. Yeah, baby. Look at the great articles in this issue of Biggins.
Here's one about how to break into the windows of apartment buildings. Here's another about how to make your own perfume. This could be a valuable issue. You take the biggins, the most interesting magazine of the bunch. Yeah, baby! This yeah, is baby. not a lending library. As opposed to some other kind of library? You may not read that magazine until you have paid for it. They carry condoms here, but they must be kept behind the counter. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers for your stooping pleasure. What sort of lover are you preferring? What length would you like? What girth are you requiring? What texture would you like? What full finish would you like? What excess capacity do you require? What sort of lubrication would you like? What sort of scent would you like? Certainly, yeah, sir. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody! This perv just bought a latex, extra small, banana girth, pockmarked, wood grain, eyedropper capacity, extra picante, fine fresh scented lubber. What a perfect! Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. has been closed ever since they displayed that naked Charlie Manson urinating on Mohammed painting. Yeah, was that controversial or something? here, only one dollar. Pass, please. I'm trying to pass. You're blocking me, and you're a lot bigger and stronger than me, so it makes it extra hard to get by you. You need to show me your membership pass to enter. How do I get a pass? Speak to the management. Okay, so I need to get inside. You need to show me your membership pass to enter. How can I speak to the management if you won't let me in? Management accepts applications for membership weekdays from 9 to 5. Please come back then. Now leave. Thank you. Ah, I see. It's a puzzle. Okay. Do you need any help? Well, yeah. My name's Roddy Contiki. You don't need help. That's a great name. Anyway, I'm in a 12-step program. I try never to be more than 12 steps from a liquor store. Like that? I made that up. Anyway, nobody will sell me anything anymore, if you know what I mean. So if you happen to come across any semi-fine fermented beverages, I'd reward any generosity you'd care to show. Okay. I'll remember that, Mr. Contiki. You will? Huh. I didn't give you enough credit. Oh, 
Oh, look. Harvey Steenwine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. Hmm. Syrupy. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz Cream Red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kinda this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, here's a thank you from me to you. One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine French army knife. Wow, yeah, baby. thanks! I wouldn't count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. Taxi! What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Hey, bud, where we going? Seventeen bucks, pal. Thanks, kid. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah? What's the password? You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? You use the combination on the coaster to quietly unlock the cabinet. You dispose of the evidence by tossing the coaster behind the cabinet, where it's unlikely to be found for thousands of years. I'll never forget that number. It's burned into my memory, I think. Wait, what was it? Four something, right? Yes, score one battery operated, sleek, slightly sticky personal massager. You start to vibrate yourself. Whoa! How can anybody stand that? Then you move the vibrator to a different spot on your body. Oh! You aim the remote at the TV and push the power button. Don't make me wistful. You wouldn't like me when I'm wistful. You've managed to turn on the TV. You've caught Prodigious P's attention, but he doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Hey, don't touch your knob. We'll be back in two and two. Another boring game show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. 
They're actual litigants with a case pending in California Municipal Court. Another boring, real-life white trash catfight show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. And thank you for your support. You've been a brick through this whole thing. Another boring commercial for wine coolers. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you talking about, Willis? Another boring sitcom. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Please have your pet spayed, neutered, or both, just to be safe. Another boring appeal to common decency. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. I love this razor so much, I bought the company. And this railroad. And two United States Senators. Another boring infomercial. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim yeah. the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Huh? All right. But this is wrong. For God's sakes, I am your accountant. Then give it to me 32% harder. It's a good thing that you did that, Larry. A very good thing. You sort of wished him into the porn field, didn't you? You carefully sneak the remote into Prodigious P's pocket, since you won't be needing it anymore. With Prodigious P presently preoccupied, you're able to proceed. This must be the place. Just so you know, if you're into Peking duck play, I need 24 hours advance notice.